Hey friends, welcome to this brand new part, part 50. We are looking at real certification question. Click the join button if you have to become a member to access more questions. These are all latest real questions. If you have not become a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. Let us look at the questions. There are so many people who have cleared certifications and put in their comments in these playlists that they have cleared using these content. So please make best use of these contents. You have AWS organization. So which feature of AWS organization? This is AWS organization which helps you manage your environment at scale. Helps you to track charges across multiple accounts. See, you can have multiple accounts. You can have one account, you can have multiple accounts in AWS organization and you can combine the report. So which feature will allow you to do that? See, SCP control policies. This is just to implement policies in the organization. You want to follow some policy, then you have to do that. Is there a policy to be followed in this question? No, there is no policy to be followed. So A is wrong because the question is not talking about policy cost explorer. It will help you with visualizing and managing your AWS costs over time. Okay, You want to know over time how much I'm going to spend. It is used for forecasting. Like you see this forecasting future cost. You want to know, okay, next one year, if I use these, these services, how much it is going to cost? Okay, next three years, if I use these, these services, how much it is going to cost? This is all you can get from this service. Is anybody telling you in this question that you have to forecast? You have to create a budget or something? No, nobody is telling that. And the last one I will tell you, IAM, see this is not even anything to do with billing. It is about providing access, you know, just like, for example, you get into your Infosys office, for example. So you are a visitor. You only have to visit the ground floor. They will not give you access to first floor, second floor. That is called access management. They will only give you access to certain resources in AWS. For example, you are only going to work on EC2. They will give you EC2 access only. They will not give you access to S3 buckets. They will not give you access to Redshift database and so on other resources. They will not give you those kind of access. So this is my consolidated billing final answer. What is the advantage? You get one bill. It is easy to track. It has combined usage. You can build multiple accounts in one thing and there is no extra fee for it. Best, best and best, right? If there is no extra fee, we use it, man. So this is my final answer. Let us jump into the next question. Which one is a customer responsibility as per the shared Responsibility model. See, this model ensures that AWS has some responsibility. You also have some responsibility. You see this security of cloud, totally AWS responsibility, and some things as a customer, you also have your responsibilities. So you can read this, pause this, read it carefully. Now, one thing maintaining the hardware, the security of hardware. See, for example, you you are putting security guards. Amazon is putting security guards. AWS is going to put security guards. Do you know it? It is not your responsibility. Are you going to say, hey, you know what? This security guard is charging $5,000 a month. I'm not going to pay for it. No, boss. That is something which Amazon does it for you. You are not responsible for it. Similarly, security of the global infrastructure, like in data center in, uh, uh, in Ohio, data center in London, data center in Paris. You as a customer don't even know where in Paris they have a data center. Okay, so how will you decide? Okay, this is the security guard I'll pick, or this is a security company I'll pick for the security of the global infrastructure. You cannot. Patching the RDS software. RDS, I told you, it is a fully managed stuff coming from AWS. So who will do this? AWS will do it, not you. If it is fully managed, it is AWS responsibility. So D is wrong. That leaves us with B. That is your responsibility. As a customer, you will patch the operating system on EC2 instances. This is a secure and resizable compute. Once you have these, you will have to create patches for op operating system, etc. If there is an upgrade to be done to the operating system, you have to do it. Now, let us jump to the next question here. See, if you find my accent a bit uh, tough to understand since I am an Indian guy. So, what you can do is you can uh, slow this video on YouTube. You can do a 0.75x or 0.5x. That will help you understand. See, which of the following is a benefit of decoupling? We do decoupling so that there is some sort of independent kind of stuff. For example, you have a producer, you have a consumer, and in between you have SQS. If the consumer goes down, dies, and you have to restart, still your messages are here. It will not be lost, and it gives independence. Like this guy can go down without losing the data. So this would be my final answer. But will it reduce latency? It will not reduce latency. It will not help you to you know view things faster. It will not do that. It will not decrease your cost because these three components, the whatever the cost is, there will be associated, and it there will not be fewer components. In fact, there will be more components. Earlier, I had only this and this. Now I also have SQS also. Whenever we talk about decoupling, always think about SQS. Decoupling SQS. Decoupling SQS. Thumb rule. Thumb rule. Decoupling SQS. 
So like in the diagram I was showing, this guy is the producer, this guy is the consumer. In between you have SQS. If the consumer dies and it restarts, you do not lose the messages. So this would be my final answer. Folks, if you have not yet subscribed, please do not wait. Subscribe, gain the benefits of the content on this channel. This brings us to the end of this part. I hope you have become a member, Cloud Kernel Cloud Ninja member. It will give you access to more questions, all real questions. Keep it real, man. See you in the next part.